Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Today we're going to do a build. We haven't done a build yet on the channel. Uh, this was a build actually for my fiance's work. <clears throat> they had an older computer that was dying, uh, asked me to diagnose it. It was definitely not worth fixing. Uh, so I went ahead and built them a new computer. Uh, the reason that this video is called the mother-in-law build is because this is the perfect computer uh, for the older people in your life. Um, I won't say elderly, we're not talking about very old people. Just people who didn't grow up uh, in the computer age. People who probably aren't as proficient on a computer. Uh, so this is something simple. It's inexpensive. Uh, it's going to let grandparents send emails, surf the web, uh, maybe do some social media if they, if they do that. Uh, so let's get right into it. So for this build, we chose a Pentium processor from Intel. Uh, it is a dual core. It is their G4400. Uh, this G4400 is part of their Skylake lineup. Uh, it's a great chip for what we're using it for. Uh, this is not something that you're going to want to get if you're gaming, uh, but this is perfect for, you know, light browsing, email use, uh, stuff like that. Exactly what this build is intended for. Um, obviously you could see in the video that the power supply actually came with the case. Uh, you're able to pick this case up for around uh, 150 or so with the power supply. This power supply is going to be more than enough uh, for a build like this. Uh, you could easily pop in a video card 
and you still wouldn't you wouldn't use all of the power that's available with this power supply. It is a 450 watt. Uh, personally, it would not bother me to use it with something like an i5 and then a GTX 1080. Uh, now you may not want to overclock, uh, but I think it would be more than adequate for a setup like that. One thing that you do want to be mindful of uh, building in this particular case, uh, obviously you don't have a ton of room. Uh, getting to some of the smaller connections like the front I.O. Uh, or the HD audio for the front panel, uh, those can be a bit tricky. Uh, so plan it out ahead of time. Make sure you're going to have enough room to get to those areas so that you can get all of that connected. Another thing to keep in mind would be the USB connection and the SATA connection. So you're going to make sure that you don't use a motherboard that has the USB going outward to the side or it will be impossible to connect in this case. When selecting a hard drive for a build like this in this particular case, uh, make sure that you're looking at two and a half inch drives and not the larger three and a half inch drives as those will not fit. Uh, I definitely recommend going with solid state if that will fit in your budget. Lastly, make sure that you add some cooling to your build. Uh, I would recommend going with an ITX form factor video card uh, if you plan to run a video card. Uh, that allows you enough space to add at least one fan here. Uh, if you were not building this with a video card like we were, you actually have room to add two fans there. guys that was the mother-in-law build I hope you all enjoyed it I know I enjoyed doing it uh, and this brings us to the best part of the video uh, we're going to announce the winners of our glorious PC gaming race desk pads uh, we have three winners and the winners are congratulations to our winners uh, please make sure you contact us in the next five days. Uh, please contact us at letsgettechie01 at gmail.com. Uh, if you do not get in contact with us in the next five days, uh, you will forfeit the prize. So make sure you get in touch with us. Uh, and that brings us to the end. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure you get subscribed if you aren't already. Make sure you're following us on social media. And give us a like. We'll see you in the next one.